Having trouble winning ranked games as support? You're trying too hard. Just play one of the easiest and strongest supports in the game, Amumu! I said it before and I'll say it again. He's a champion that's simple to pick up and simple to master. Maybe not exactly like that, but close enough. It's that easy, baby! This season I'm 8-0 with Amumu. He's almost single-handedly brought me to my 12-2 record in ranks overall so far. If you're saying that's not that impressive, that's not even a lot of games. Well, f*** you, I have a f***ing job. You want to learn or not? Now let's get into his abilities real quick. Instead of going in order, let's start with the win game ability. Hit the R button and if Amumu has nobody around, it turns into the lose game ability. And that makes him a sad panda. But when there are people around and you get that one bow four to five man banger, it's time to stop him a time. But hey, it only takes two to party, but sometimes you want to have that threesome in bot lane anyway. Your passive is often overlooked, so here's what it does. Whenever you give enemy head or hit them with a surprise birthday party, the enemy will take 10% increased magic damage. It can be huge when paired with heavy AP threats, so you and Kaiser better be closer friends than Spongebob and Plankton during the episode fun. Your Q is bandage toss and has two charges. Simple enough. Hit the Q and follow the birthday blower to the enemy. This is extremely good for engagers and will probably be a guaranteed birthday party where you can dance the night away all over your enemy's corpses. They might try and pretend they have somewhere to be, but you've already invited their friends and checked their schedule, so you know they don't have an excuse to leave. Your W is your drunk crying ability where everyone around you feels so awkward it hurts them and they don't want to stay near you. Yep, that's it. E is your tantrum, you want to throw one as often as a toddler that can't get the toy they want. The cooldown is reduced when they hit you to try and show you some manners, but jokes on them, you're a masochist and you like it and you want to do it again. You want to max this first. Don't listen to those other guys in those other videos. I'm right, they're wrong, shut up. You ready to get into the game? Not yet, you gotta pick your runes. For primary, you want to get those Shrek runes and start with Aftershock so you get that extra DR and don't have to use your safe word. Next, we want to use Font of Life because we ain't about putting homies down and we want to build them up. For your third rune, all of them are good. <laughs> for your third rune, all of them are good, but bone planning is the best. You still have to give the enemy heads, so you want to be hard for them. But sometimes you do want conditioning for that extra endurance for those Barra bros. Last, to make sure you're fully shreked out, you want to get Overgrowth for extra endurance on flinching, so you ain't afraid to go back for more. Second tree, you always want to be a domination, because you want to be a cheap date as well as having that alt up as much as possible. The summoners you choose can vary. Choose Ignite if you want it to be steamy, or Exhaust if you want to take it slow, but obviously you want flash. You did it! You picked the Mumu and we're in the game, so now what do we do? Well, let's see. When you leave home for the first time, make sure to pick the essentials. A shield and two mixed drinks to make sure you keep your buzz going. Now be careful, you don't want to get too excited in the early game. You really only want to go in when you have both your birthday blowers up. Helps you clean to them and make sure you give them proper heads so they have a good time. But once you're in, you always want to immediately make them awkward by crying and throw a tantrum so they punish you, you bad, naughty bitch. They have a bar boy, make sure to dom on their sub. If they have two subs, the world's your oyster and feel free to go in any way you see fit. If you have the opportunity at any time to have a three way, you take it and make sure you laugh all over them when you're done. If your partner's low, don't engage. And don't engage past the safe word line or you might be on a one way ticket to saturation jail. If your partner went to jail or needs time to recover while you're still raring to go, there's always a willing participant in the room next door. But always make sure to keep the lights on so you don't have any peepers sneaking in. When you do make enough cash to go on a shopping spree, make sure to always wear a single shoulder guard and have a shield so you're as protected as a female RPG character with high level armor. But once you get that, you're free to vandalize the enemy's safe space and go all Krauser on them. Mid to late game, you just want to be the life of the party, using your birthday blowers all the time, giving as much head as possible and keeping the party going. Just bring your partner and the friendly local mugger around so you can put the other team in saturation jail and take all the good stuff off these good Samaritans that only fight to defend themselves. Once you've saved up enough of the enemy's lunch money, you'll need to decide which sick kicks you'll need. If the entire enemy team is Kyle Force and they'll throw hands at any drywall that passes their way, then you might want to pick up these bad boys. Otherwise, choose these magic shoes. Once that's done, just stay with your partner and your local mugger and you'll be sure to throw as many parties as possible. After a while, you'll realize that you have a team of frat bros and the other guys are some freshmen because they can't handle all the parties that you're throwing and they'll want to leave early. If the enemies are actually sophomores and can handle themselves, then you might want to get this spiky boy for their Kyle Force and healers, or this cape to make your crying feel even more awkward. If they do have magicians that you've been spanking around all game, then you might want to get this max to make sure you keep your identity hidden from the riot police. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. If you're not enjoying the content, why are you still here? Once that's all finished, the Nexus will explode and you'll be dancing your way all the way to the Riot Headquarters where they'll shower you with praise as they continue to buff champions that don't need it. See y'all next time.